Hello YouTube. So, I started making a video the other day. As you can see, my wall has fallen trash. But that's not really what this video is about. I mean, I, I hadn't made a video about that. I started making a video about the Dodge because, uh, as I said in that video, which you guys haven't seen because it's not finished because whatever, got, got some time off because, uh, Basically, our whole house has had COVID, even the baby. So, that being said, had some time to kind of sit back and think about a few things and just how how life is right now. Um, and before you freak out, everybody's fine. I mean, the baby's just fine. She's happy as she can be. You know, the boys, you can't even tell that they were ever positive at all. Myself, I've had weird like thermoregulation problems like I, I'm super freezing one second and then I'm super hot the next second and it's just it's been crazy my face looks super fat like way more fat than normal but whatever um so it's like I said it's giving me some time off um I felt pretty fair most of the days except for yesterday I pretty much felt like I was gonna die all day because I just I was weak and just I couldn't like I said my my body temperature was just up and down I couldn't couldn't regulate it in any kind of way um but with that being said it's given me a little bit of time to, to think about things and and what I want to do and how I'd like to both progress the channel and some of my projects um so that's kind of what this video is going to be about is just kind of walking around the shop a little bit and it's it's a disaster in here because the wind blows a thousand miles an hour and there's no walls obviously um but i guess we'll kind of start with the tea bucket so i built this car specifically to race adam at the push rods race and we didn't really take any video because even once we got to the race, I was still thrashing on this thing, trying to make it work, trying to just get there and make a pass. Um, and Adam's car didn't make it, so didn't really have to worry about much. But this car now runs, drives, does whatever, but it's still not quite right. I mean, it was rushed, you know. So there's things about this car that need to be fixed for the upcoming season. One massive thing is the flex plate in this car is right but wrong. The flex plate in here is a 164 tooth flex plate. Does not have a bolt pattern selector for a small torque converter. So what we did is we just drilled it and stuck the torque converter through it. It works. Spins up fine, does everything fine. Nothing flies apart yet, um, but that needs to be addressed. So that's got to get fixed. Um, obviously, having COVID, I can't really go anywhere and do anything. Um, and I'm also terrified of spending money because I, I want to make sure that everything's okay, you know. Um, but anyway, work is paying me for 10 days because I can't be there. Um, because if I didn't have COVID, I would be there and they know that. And I know that, and I hope the people watching this know that, but anyway, um, needs a flex plate that will connect to the small bolt pattern on the torque converter. This up here, the electric water pump, it works. It does what it's supposed to do, except there's a leak really, really bad. And it's the first time I ever using one of these on a small block Ford. Didn't really know what to expect. Um, there was a, uh, plate in between the timing cover and the water pump or the mid plate or front plate that we don't need. So <clears throat> really need to tear it back down, take that off, clean the gaskets up, all that, put new gaskets in it, put it back together. Hopefully the water pump doesn't leak. Um, <clears throat> the wiring in it isn't great, but isn't really terrible. I mean, it's race car wiring. So there's like four wires in the whole car. Um, I have a 6AL2 um, digital delay, not delay box, but a 
digital um, MSD box. So I have a two-step and all that. It's not hooked up because I don't have a don't have all that for it. Um, I have no front brakes on this car, which I hate. But again, I was trying to make the race, so I did what we had to do. Um, I'd like to switch it over, have front brakes, and put a, uh, a trans brake in it and all that and actually make the car do what it's supposed to do. Because it would be a really fun car if it was just right. Um, like I said, I did what I had to do to make it to the race. I made it, proved my point. Um, I finished something, so that's cool. I um, mean, there's a few other little odd and end things about it. It needs, it needs coilovers. It needs you know, front shocks and stuff like that. But the goal is to have it completely ready to go by April. It's, I think it's mid-April. There's a, a, a pretty good um, nostalgia show that's actually coming to Wilkesboro. But, you know, I'll clue y'all in more about that when it gets there. This turd bucket. Guy wanted to buy it something terrible. So I was like, I'll sell it to you just because you want it so bad. I told him I wouldn't sell it to him until I knew it was right. Got to messing with it, found out some stuff wasn't, wasn't right. And then he ghosted me and I was like, what a dick because you know, you wouldn't shut up for a week and a half. And then when I finally get a chance to mess with it, now you're like, oh, well, I don't want that. Even though you were saying that, oh, you've rebuilt all this and done all this and whatever, but uh, guess not. Um, but my plan right now with this, is I found a, a guy that sells Crown Vic engines, and that's all that's in here anyway. Yeah, I found a guy that sells Crown Vic engines, and that's basically what this thing is supposed to have in it anyway. The guy says it's got a 4.6 a, a out of a Grand Marquis, which doesn't really matter. I mean, it's, it's going to be slow no matter what. But my plan is to take this motor out, um, Put the put the newer one in, and they have a, a streetcar series this year that I think I'd like to run in because that, I mean, face it, you've got three races a year, and that's kind of boring. I mean, it's it's a cool car, like it really is. Like I love it. I think it's awesome looking, and it's it sounds good, and it's just it's just cool because I built it in a month. But this god awful ugly but it runs and it makes a lot of noise and it's not fast but could be i feel like you know get the other motor in it put a i'd really like to go with i think a probably a like a 76 millimeter like single turbo setup and you know put put all that on it and just learn a little bit because I mean obviously we, we you can make that work with two rocks and a stick but this one it's a little bit more technology involved there and I think that would be fun I think it'd be awesome to learn about and I think maybe you know my level of experience it would be awesome to share that with you guys because if I can do it you can do it you know um this car runs and drives and it just it needs tires pretty bad but other than that i mean it's it's a good car my brother is trying to buy it really bad his mom wants it pretty bad <clears throat> but i don't know that i don't really know if i'm ready to sell it i guess i mean i probably should because i don't drive it enough but i don't know it's just one of those things um like i said i don't know it really needs to be painted and needs a top on it and whatever. Papa's truck. It's still Papa's truck. It's here. Um, I don't really know what to do with it right now. It's, I mean, it's never going anywhere. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, I need to start on it, but I keep, like, putting it off. Not, not really putting it off, but it's one of those things. I guess I feel like... I know that one's never going anywhere, so there's no reason to do it right now, you know. Uh, black truck. <sighs> that thing is ridiculous. Runs great, does great. Has absolutely no power steering because the power steering rack died. 
and I can't afford to replace it right now. So I've been driving for like two and a half months with no power steering, which is freaking great. And now that I've had COVID, I probably can't even drive it because I can't, I don't have the strength to do it. Um, but otherwise, it's great. Uh, the camper, it's Jesse's. It's still here. He doesn't live here now. Jesse moved, uh, moved away, but he still comes by sometimes. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just pretty much what that is. Subaru, also Jesse's. It runs and drives and does everything it's supposed to do. So it's just kind of here. Um, he wants me to do some work to it come, come springtime. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the buggy still here. Ever since I put that motor in it, I hate the way it looks. I don't want anything else to do with it. I'd love to finish it and actually drive it, but at this point, I genuinely just don't care. I mean, it, it means next to nothing to me now. <sighs> and I hate that because, I mean, it's it, it was always a dream car and I have one and it's it's fairly close to being able to drive. I just, so I just don't care. It's not, not a thing. Like I said, I was working on a Dodge. Um, the other day I built some body mounts. So hopefully I can mount the cab. Um, maybe by the end of this week I can do that. That'll be pretty cool. Um, the biggest thing is just the weather and my body. Cause like I said, I've had the weird, you know, body temperature regulation issues. And then it's, like I'm, I'm not like, I don't, I don't feel weak. But I feel kind of like brittle, I guess. Like I feel like my strength is there, but I feel like if I used it, then I would be hurting more, if that makes sense. Um, so, but yeah, so the truck's there. Got them two body mounts made. Um, I still need to do some cutting inside of the, cab to make the engine fit where it needs to and i think i figured out how to get the wheel spacing and everything that i want to get the look that i want and the stance that i want um but i don't know we'll see it's all it's all just kind of up in the air um the 68 is still here it'll be here forever as far as i know like i i own it i have all the paperwork for it um, i actually talked to willard just the other day about how to get it down into the shop Cause I would like to, I would like to have it this summer. Um, like to get it moving this summer, like rolling and driving. That would be, that would be a massive goal. But like I said, I've got some other things that, that need to happen first and foremost. And once I get, once I get back to work and I can actually do some stuff, then I'm going to start going pretty hard and moving some stuff around. Um, like I said, the, the black car might be gone by then, and that's, you know, that's a little money. And the buggy, do a little bit more work to it to get it sold. Um, <clears throat> and just little odd and end things like that, just trying to, trying to, to get there, you know. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, still one of the biggest things I'm trying to do right now is actually get the walls put up on the shop. And I mean, I'm obviously going to have to fix that, but basically it just fell straight over. It didn't hurt anything. Um, it just kind of sucks that it happened. Um, so that'll be the, the next big thing to get finished. And uh, after that, start, start hammering away on some of these cars. And that's pretty much it, but... I guess if you've watched this long, thank you for your time and uh, just keep on keeping on, I reckon. But thank you for watching. If you see anything or have any questions, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Then we'll see y'all in the next one.